Hi all, I'm Melissa and welcome to my channel. Oh my word, Melly. In today's video, I'm going to share my thoughts and do a wrap up of the first book of the I Heart series by Lindsay Kill. As you know, this series was my recent book traffic and because of work and other events, I did not manage to finish the entire series in the month of February and I'm still reading it. And I also know that y'all have heard me talk about this I Heart series in so many of my previous videos. I Heart New York starts with Angela being the bridesmaid at her best friend Louisa's and Tim's wedding. And during the occasion, Angela catches her fiancé Mark cheating on her with his tennis partner. And you know what's worse? Louisa and Tim knew about this for months and did not tell Angela. Like Louisa and Tim used to play tennis with Mark and this cheating biatch kid. If Louisa was actually Angela's best friend, or if you were in that position, wouldn't you tell your friend? Wouldn't you want to save her from that pain? I don't know. Such horrible friends, aren't they? Overcome with grief and sadness for not realizing sooner that her fiancé was cheating on her and feeling like a stab in her heart, feeling let down by her best friend the best friend in this whole wide world. Angela felt so hurt that she told Louisa and Tim off in front of everyone there at their uh, wedding reception and flees to New York away from all this negativity. Waking up in New York all by herself and with nowhere to go, Angela starts thinking of all the events that have led to this. She meets Jenny, the concierge at the hotel she was staying at, and they instantly become good best friends. Throughout this book, like they, their bond is something that you really want to have with your own best friend. Like they are the perfect duo. Throughout this story, Jenny helps Angela to work out her depression throughout Angela's depression and help her rediscover herself. While in New York, Angela meets two guys she starts dating who are on like totally different social circles, like total opposite ends of the social circle. One is a Wall Street banker called Tyler and the other is Alex the lead singer of Angela's favorite band called The Stills. Angela is totally enjoying this double dating life. She is trying to discover this, like the New York dating, and she has to follow these dating rules that her friends, like Jenny's friends, lay out. And while all that, Tyler doesn't like go into a personal level with Angela, he just casually gets to know her, takes her on these fancy, fancy dates and buys her things from Tiffany's and stuff. While Alex is like this total calm, cool, like hipster, swaggy person who actually listens to everything Angela says and wants to get to know her on a personal level. And Angela starts quietly realizing that she likes those dates with Alex more, though she also enjoys dating Tyler and all their fancy rendezvous, she comes to this point where she has to decide. In the meantime, Jenny starts uh, introducing Angela to Jenny's like social circle and Angela starts meeting all Jenny's friends and they help Angela in getting a blogging job at the magazine called The Look, where Angela has to just basically blog about her day-to-day -day life and also her double dating life. The readers at The Look are so caught up with Angela dating two people of two different circles and they want to know everything that happens. 
while she is enjoying her new new york life and her blogger life with new friends and dating two guys angela comes to this inevitable time where she has to decide if she is going back to london if she is ready to face all those people she fled from if she is ready to face mark who cheated on her and her friends who betrayed her by not telling she also has to decide which of the guys she is dating she likes more or likes her for real and make a decision on who she wants to get to know better and with all that she has to figure out where she is going to live in new york if she does decide to stay in new york the latter is actually sorted when jenny lopez actually forces angela to move in with her in her apartment in manhattan so angela never had to make a decision of where she is going to live if she decided to go home she still can go home if she decided to stay she has a place to stay and throughout all this dating and like throughout the book after going on many dates angela realizes that she actually likes alex more than tyler and loves spending time with alex and she feels loved and valued and she also finds out that tyler is a jerk and breaks up with tyler but angela's life is never smooth sailing alex too breaks up with angela because he thought angela and he were like their relationship was going too fast curveball after curveball for this angela yeah they breaking up was something i was not expecting i was actually expecting this double dating life to clash and blow up in angela's face like all these movies we watch but that actually didn't happen like the so angela broke up with tyler because he was a jerk and alex broke up with angela because he thought it was like moving too fast but towards the end of the book alex and angela try to work things again and start their like try to work things out and start their relationship again and oh man you fall in love with everything in this book like my favorite was this angela jenny duo they are like the best friends to be and and also the shopping sprees sightseeing and jenny has this oprah speech thing where she wants to be the next oprah or uh, oprah i can i am not sure how you pronounce that oprah and like when angela is having this midlife crisis sort of thing she turns this oprah or uh, oprah mode on and gives uh, J- sorry gives angela these big ass speeches <laughs> those are really fun like and she too has her own meltdowns when she's drunk and stuff but like you all should definitely read this this book was packed with drama steamy romances strong friendships and oh so much of drinking and getting drunk man it was fun it was so real and oops I forgot so much of shopping and busting their credit cards. <laughs> For some this plot might be like such a cliche chick flick sort of thing but it's definitely a fun read and the author's style of writing is so casual and free you think that you are actually traveling to these beautiful places going on these amazing a dates and meeting like oh these amazing gorgeous handsome guys i actually want to travel like this book makes me want to travel to all these places i should really tell you this book is like my places to visit in new york to do list sort of thing if i ever visit new york i am actually not doing this book the justice it deserves You should definitely read it. It had me hooked on to every single word in this story. Once you read I Heart New York, you think or you start thinking that nothing worse than this could happen to Angela. And oh my word was 
moment I proved wrong. Anyway, it's time for me to wrap up this video for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know this wasn't an actual review but simply a wrap up of the story. I hope you still enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to find out what happens next in Angela's adventures in the other books of this series. I definitely recommend that you pick up this series and I know you will enjoy all the books. I am still trying to figure out how to do these book wrap ups or wrap up my reads without actually giving away the spoilers, without revealing anything. But I still have not like figured that out. Sorry about the spoilers. And if you all participated in my Instagram story and tried to decide which guy Angela picks between Tyler and Alex, I hope you have got the answer now. Yes, she picked Alex. As a reading update, I would like to say that I'm currently reading the fourth book of this I Heart series, which is the I Heart Vegas. And I can't wait to see what happens next in Angela's life. I'm pretty sure it's going to be such a fun and adventurous book indeed because I love the other two books as well. I Heart Hollywood and I Heart Paris. I can't wait to tell you all what happened in those as well. So don't forget, like I said, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out those reveals. Anywho, with the promise of more bookish fun, here is me signing off for today. Stay safe and bye from all oh my birds. Really?